Well, this week in Destiny, Echoes Act 3 continues. Also, it's Sword Week. We've got a new exotic catalyst for the Choir of One. I think this one is the one that people have been waiting for. So it's Tuesday, the 3rd of September 2024. And this is what's going on in Destiny 2 this week. Okay, so Echoes Act 3 continues this week with new story beats, plus we've got a new exotic catalyst available from the Encore exotic mission available in the Helm. You can check out the guides on the channel for how to complete the mission, plus also how to get the first catalyst. Well, also, Sword Week is here, so swords are going to regenerate heavy ammo all week long. So basically, we've got infinite ammo with swords for a week. Why? Well, no one knows, you know, but this is the week to dust off those swords from your vault and have some fun. If you need a good one, I recommend going to Zavala and you can focus a falling guillotine. And uh, then you can hopefully get a drop view from the onslaught mode available through the Vanguard menu. Well, also this week it's the Destiny 10 year anniversary. That is on the 9th of September 2024. The original game released on the 9th of September 2014 on Xbox and PlayStation, so make sure you mark that day in whatever way you want to. Now, hopefully, we'll get some news of how Bungie is going to mark the day or that significant date in the This Week at Bungie update later on this week. Well, next up, let's have a look at the exotic mission rotator for the week. So this one is the Star-Crossed exotic mission that means you can get a craftable Wishkeeper Exotic Strand Bow. So jump into that this week. Well, for the featured raid for the week, we've got the King's Fall raid and some really good weapons in there, including the Exotic Scout Rifle Touch of Malice. So you can find that in the Legends tab this week. Also, the featured dungeon is available in the Legends tab this week, so it's a busy one for the Legends tab. This dungeon is Ghosts of the Deep, and I believe that you need the dungeon key for that, and that was Season of the Deep. Quite a long dungeon, this one, and also there were some complaints about the health on the final boss, but some good weapons, and uh, let me know if you're jumping into that this week. Well, next up, we've got the Nightfall and the Grandmaster Nightfall content for the week. So this one is the Insight Terminus, so good luck if you are jumping into that. Also, if you wanted to focus that sword for the week, so focus the Falling Guillotine at Zavala, or then jump into Onslaught, I recommend doing it on Expert Mode. It's not that much more difficult, and you can also find a team through Fire Team Find, or your clan, or your friends, of course. But jump into that and get your swords on for the week. Also, it's worth noting there's double Nightfall rewards this week, so it's a really, really fruitful week to get into some Nightfall action. Next up, let's have a look at some Crucible. So we've got Relic available this week. We've also got Elimination. That is back. We've got Sparrow Control as well down in Labs. And uh, we've got another chance to get the Repost Auto Rifle. That is one of the best weapons in the game right now, in my opinion. And we've also got Control 2. Well, it's week 14 of Episode Echoes. So let's check out the seasonal challenges. So first of all, Core Variables 2. Complete Act 3, Part 2 of Arising Chorus. We've got Research and Development 8. So complete the research quest for the specimen NES008. Aggressive Exploration. Complete the Episode Echoes Exotic Mission Encore Weekly Challenge. You've got Soloist as well. So use the choir of one obtained from the Exotic Mission Encore to defeat targets and bonus progress is gained in the Episode Echoes Exotic Mission Encore. Europa activities on Europa earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. Last rites get ability, final blows, and crucible gambit or vanguard. Bonus progress is granted for guardian final blows. We've got echoing performance, so defeat guardians and crucible or gambit with auto rifles, hand cannon, sidearm, sniper rifles, or swords, and earn bonus progress for swords. That is, of course, sword weeks. And then we've got bank, kill, repeat. Earn points by banking moats, defeating blockers, and defeating guardians in Gambit. Then we've got Darkest Nightfall, so complete any Nightfall strike on advanced difficulty or higher. Bonus progress is granted for completing Nightfalls above advanced difficulty. So that is really, really rewarding this week. If you complete a high-level Nightfall this week, you're not only going to get double loot, but you're going to get this one available as well. 
You've got a free Nightfall weapon plus some Bright Dust. So that is a good deal for the week. Next up, we're going to head on over to Banshee44. And he is a little bit further away this week. I've been standing next to Zavala. So let's jump on over here. Of course, we've got the new Catalyst quest there. So that is very, very good. So we need to open up the second chest. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the weapons first. We've got the Suros weapons and the Hake weapons. Let's have a look at the featured weapons. Roma Rush. This one is a popular one from a few seasons ago. Fluted Barrel, Tactical Mag, Tunnel Vision, Tap the Trigger. We've got Spare Rations, a once popular gun. Arrowhead Break, Alloy Magazine, Moving Target, Swashbuckler, Disaster Plan. We have Brass Attacks, Fluted Barrel, Alloy Magazine, Slideways, Rampage. That is a, a pretty good roll, actually. Quite like that for Brass Attacks. Distant Tumulus, Polygonal Rifling, Appended Mag, Dragonfly, Opening Shot. And finally, we've got Just In Case. So if you want a sword for Sword Week... Well, Banshee's got a good one. So we've got Hungry Edge, Balance Guard, Flash Counter, Thresh, Disaster Plan. I would say if you want a really good sword, go on over to Zavala and uh, do that focusing and going to Onslaught. You get a really good falling guillotine doing it that way. Some of these ornaments then for Sword Week. Look at that. One for Black Talon there, one for Heart Shadow. One for Worldline Zero and one for Lament. The pretty sweet one there for Black Talon. That is very, very nice indeed. But uh, I won't be buying that myself, but uh, you can have a look if you uh, wish. First of all, a shader, Carbon Blood. This is for Bright Dust, of course. We've got Byzantium Lotus. Also, Hourglass Projection. And we have some boots, Omega Mechanos boots. We've got Stargazer as well. Okay, let's have a look at the rest of the Bright Dust items for the week. So we've got Clue Projection first. Got an ornament there, the Lost Found. Very good, that is for the Kvostov. Look at that again. Pretty sweet. I'm going to get hold of that myself. Jovian 9. Synchrotron Shell. Also Roaring Primeval. That is very good as well. That's uh, based on the Wither Horde. We've got Standout Pose. Also Sophisticated Spy. Very good. James Bond fans out there. Renewal Entrance. Also, Sterile Neutrino Effects. Hive Arrival. Copper Brand. Carbon Blood. I do like that one. That is good. First Light. Finally, Smashing Success. Too bad at all. Well, that is it for the weekly reset update on the 3rd of September 2024. So I think the big news this week is it's Sword Week and also we've got that new catalyst available in the Encore Exotic Mission. So whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this week, I hope you have a good time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgame Express. So you can also like the video and share the video too. That would help me out here on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon.